In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can customize your buttons. Uh, I have two buttons here, and uh, in the process of customizing them, making changes, we're going to talk about uh, styling in Bubble um, and also uh, UX, which stands for user experience. In the course of building our apps, we want to uh, reduce confusion uh, and make our apps as easy uh, to use as possible for our users. Um, so let's dive right into it. And uh, we're going to have this as our secondary button. I'll rename it and uh, this as our primary button. Um, so at the moment the button is styled as the primary button which uh, is a style that Bubble provides when I, I created this app. Um, and so if I uh, toggle off from here or uh, you can do the same thing by clicking remove style, I can then go ahead and I can make changes to the button. Uh, so there we go, you can see the color has changed. Um, but this will only apply to this individual button. This is where styles come in, uh, which can be accessed through the tab here or through the uh, drop down here uh, on the inspector. Um, so if I go back onto primary button, you can see it reverts back to the primary button style. And I can edit the primary button style here. So let's say instead of a, a blue, I want to go for a purple. And uh, let's say we want a lot more rounding um, and uh, to increase the letter spacing because sometimes that looks quite good on a button. And now you can see that both buttons have changed because both are the primary button. Um, now there's one other thing we can do here, um, which is that when the uh, user hovers over it, this is when we're moving into the UX territory, uh, we want the button to change to indicate that a hover has taken place. So uh, remember, I'm in the, the styles panel because I want this to apply to every primary button. So I'm going to say when button uh, is hovered and then select the background color uh, and uh, I'm going to go a little bit darker. Uh, and we can preview that by toggling it here. And then if I hit preview, we can see what's happened so far. So now when my mouse goes over the button, uh, it changes color on the mouse hover. Uh, a good bit of UX to incorporate where possible. Let's work on our second button. Uh, so this is gonna be our secondary button and I'm gonna start with the uh, primary uh, because I want it to be similar, consistent, um, but let's make a few changes. So I'm gonna make the uh, font size a little bit smaller. Um, get rid of the additional letter spacing. Um, now, instead of having it solid to indicate that it's secondary, uh, let's give it a border instead. Uh, let's give it a border of two, and then we will get rid of the background color uh, and update the font color, there we go. Um, and uh, at the moment, uh, button hovered, okay, it's, it's removed the background because I no longer have a background style in effect. But I still want something to happen. Um, so in fact, I'm gonna make the background white. Um, and so then when it's hovered, uh, background color, uh, and then I'm gonna make this a slight gray. Um, let's preview that. And so there you see it fades into the slight gray. Uh, we could also, to really demonstrate that it's been hovered, uh, we can change the uh, border color. And so rather than uh, sliding the droplet across here to select a lighter purple, I'm going to change the transparency. Uh, I, I can see that's not had a huge effect. Let's take that all the way down to there. Okay, so there you go, it changes the outline of the button as well. Um, so I created my secondary button um, and now let's make a style out of it uh, because I want to be able to deploy this secondary button with my conditional, with my styling here, elsewhere in my app. So I can go onto style and click create new style. And this then means that if uh, I was to draw uh, a 
a button down here uh, and I want that to be styled like my secondary button it now carries the style across and if I make changes uh, in here make that really big for some reason you can see the changes are reflect where reflected wherever the secondary button is set as the style. 